yo welcome to today's video today's video i would like to apologize in advance that there will be a lot of wind noise i'm sorry for that i can't stop the wind <laughs> okay let's get down to the business it's a continuation of what i'm doing regarding using nissan leaf battery in my old 2001 uh, 2011 and 2012 nissan leaf yes the first generation nissan leaf that's what I'm working with. This diagram is from the uh, service manual. And uh, what I want to point out is the OBD2 port that I have. This is the OBD2 port that I've added. And uh, this LB, what do you call it? Is it LB1 or LB11? Okay. This one and this guy. Okay, is a they are continuation cable. This connects to the BMS right here. Why this one goes out of the battery outside? I'm trying to use this BMS to know what's going on with the battery in the trunk. If you buy an old battery, you will need the BMS and also the battery management system and the, the cable that goes to it from the battery okay let me now show you what i've done and let me point this out in order for you not to have this kind of problem you will need to know that when this guy is active your positive and your negative how i did that you see on the bms we have the positive and you have your ground negative but on the on this guy you need you need the ground you can see all the ground together you need the power positive that's all the power positive you need your can high and your can low so to my ground i connect this cable and to my positive to my positive cable i connect this cable and mark it positive and join me in order for you not to have this problem when you're using this guy you cannot be running the car you can only come if you connect your 12 volts from the car you will have some problem something similar like this will happen to you but run this guy independently of the 12 volt of the car because the entire body of the car is part of the 12 volt and this guy is going to be connected to your high voltage 400 volt 300 and 60 to 400 volts you don't want to do that don't, don't do that so that you don't have this kind of problem please okay let's get down to it here we go i have it connected you see uh, sorry i'm not wearing glove it's okay so i have it connected this is the cable that is coming from the battery underneath the car this is the cable that is going into this bank of battery i have the cable connected now and here is my bms the bms is connected to all those cables you saw it's connected to the bank of the battery only add in the trunk here okay this cable is prepared so that i can plug the battery to the cigarette light oh right there but I learned the hard way not to do that when the car is running. So what did I come up with? I come up using this set of battery, which will give me more than 12 volts. And uh, here is my OBD2 ready for connection. So if I plug it in right now, it will come alive. Okay, let's do that together. Plug it in. And uh, you see the power coming on. But there may not be any communication so we need to go to the front okay when i say go to the front this is what i mean here we are now on this setting i have two but bank of battery one underneath the car one in the trunk what is going on right now the, char the car is being charged 
and the BNS we are looking at, I mean the battery bank we are looking at is the one underneath the car. For me to just see the one in the trunk right now, I will go to the setting and click on the setting. Then under Bluetooth device paired, you select it. I have, this is the one in the car, this is the one in the trunk. Select the one in the trunk and you wait. It's going to disconnect and then connect to the battery in the trunk. Here we go. There's a battery in the trunk. You can see they are all red. I have only one single cell. I have only one single cell that is weak. And guess what? My BMS is trying to bring all those one that are higher than that particular one that is weak. Not that weak, but it's a little bit. That's the lowest voltage there. The single one that is blue there. And my BMS is trying to, the battery management system in the trunk is trying to reduce the voltage so that it will match up with that particular one. That's how it is designed. It is designed to make to keep all the voltage for all the cells equal. But I'm happy with what I'm seeing. It seems that the car is almost fully charged. And I don't connect it all the time, the one in the trunk. I only connect it to see what's going on with the battery. The deviation is high. You can see 101.96. If I keep it plugged, and it, if I keep it plugged, you can see I'm getting 16 volts, 16.45 volts from that little thing I put together. And the state of charge is 96.5%. It's not terrible. It's getting me to where I want to get to. But you need to know what's going on with the battery if you do this system. So just follow with the diagram that I have that is on the service manual. You need just four cable, can low, can high, the ground, and the battery, and the probably uh, and the battery. The, there are two red there. One is one goes to the pre-charge, while the other one goes to the battery connect the two together connect it with your battery and uh, for this one to work you need to just select from your during your setting you go to setting when you under your setting do not forget you select bms only by default it's going to go to what do we call it it's going to go to the year of your battery by default, it will go to the year of your battery, whether 2011 or 2012 or 2013. By default, it's going to go to the year of your battery. But you need to come in here to select BMS only. When you select BMS only and you change it back, it will start. It Then it will see only the BMS. You will not be able to see other features, but only BMS only. And here we go. I can see the battery in the trunk. I, there's a battery in the trunk. And to see the battery underneath the car, all I need to do is go back to the setting. Select network. I mean, the device. Uh, peer de no, 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 no. Hmm. I pressed the wrong thing. Okay. Device pair. And then select the other OBD2 device and wait for it to change back to the to the one on okay here we go it changed back this this bms is more active why is always working always active always connected but the one in the trunk i only connect to see what's going on with the battery once in a while i don't leave it connected permanently since i had a problem with the feedback leave it connected permanently and that's when I'm done all I need to do is pull one of these battery off and that'll be it and to stop working uh, if you like if you learn anything please share the video I just want to just share the news I don't know how much more time I have but uh, let's just make a, I just want to make 
all every day counts now sharing whatsoever I can share with people bye for now